You ask for Resident Evil HDR settings, here we are. Resident Evil. Who could that be? Hello? Jill, are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... for the only two stars left in town, you and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. How this all happened so fast? I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arclay on steroids. Thank you. 
do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! Unfortunately, I just own Resident Evil 3 on the PlayStation 5. I do not own Resident Evil 2 on any console, just on the PC. And in terms of HDR, I'm not quite sure if it is completely the same. So that's why I can't do any recommendation for Resident Evil 2 right now. But if I can get my yeah, hands on, on maybe on the Xbox Series X version or PlayStation 5 version in the future, I will do, of course, a video about this as well. The PlayStation 5 version of Resident Evil 3, and I'm very sure the same counts for the Xbox Series version, does not support the HDR system level calibration on the console. That means whatever you set up here, there is no impact in the game. Let's talk about the HDR in-game settings in Resident Evil 3 and I have to warn you, do not use those settings as instructed on the screen. Because if I would do this, for an example, on an LG CX as I own, you will end up with just around 550 candela maximum peak brightness. But if you use those menus with my recommended settings, and I will share my settings of course in a second, then you end up actually with a maximum peak brightness of around 840 candela. So again, those menus here, or this menu, the test pattern here, the first one and the second one, do not use it as instructed on the screen because otherwise you end up with wrong HDR. Before I now share my recommended settings for the LG CX and a couple of other TVs, let's have a very quick look on my findings in terms of the maximum peak brightness. With my recommended settings for the LG CX, C1, C2 and G1, we would have around 840 candela maximum peak luminance, which is perfect in my opinion for those TVs. For the QN95B, this is my brand new LED TV. I have actually a maximum peak brightness around 1700 nits. I measured around 1700 nits in Cyberpunk back then and this is really amazing in terms of HDR gaming, not just for gaming, also for movies. And with my recommended settings, we have around 1700 nits. Last but not least, and just keep in mind, I do not own the S95B or the G2, so that's why I can't verify those settings. But in terms of the maximum peak brightness, we know that they roughly can achieve 1000 nits. And with my recommended settings, we can do this. And now let's talk about my settings. And here we are with my recommended settings for Resident Evil 3 on the PlayStation 5, but I'm very sure in terms of HDR, you can apply the same settings for the Xbox Series version as well. But please do me a favor, verify those settings on the Xbox Series and put in the comment section what you think. And I like to mention this again, my recommended settings for the S95P and G2 are really just recommendations because I can't verify those values. I really just calculating them out of the other stuff from my analyzers, but I do not know how it looks like in real okay? So again, please do me a favor, give it a try and put in a comment section if those values are fitting the S95B and G2 or maybe not. Let me just quickly explain what minus one plus two and plus six means in terms of HDR settings. When you start the game for the very first time, the factory settings in terms of the HDR slider is exactly in the middle. The same counts for the brightness slider as well. And I decided to name this as zero. That means minus one is really just one click to the left side and plus two is two clicks to the right side. And the same counts of course for brightness as well. And last but not least, please keep in mind, my recommended settings are for a dark environment. If you play in a very bright environment and you urge to increase the brightness setting, 
then you may need to decrease the maximum brightness setting because the brightness setting is affecting the maximum peak brightness. But just give it a try. If you see clipping objects, then give it a try and decrease the maximum brightness setting. But I would actually try to stick to those values because with those values, you have the best experience on those TVs. And that's it already for this video. I say thank you very much for watching me. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. I see you guys next time. Bye.